A 16-day activism against violence against women and girls wound down uh, with a challenge to victims to speak up when abused. The group also called on the government to ensure that the legislation is in place to safeguard women and girls who are most vulnerable groups. Plus TV News correspondent Manuel A. Jenner completes the report. This town hall gathering is to raise an awareness against gender violence and the plight of victims. Organizers blamed the patriarchy system in the country as the main cause of so many documented humiliations such as widowhood practices, female genital mutilation, money wife, common in cross river state among others faced by some women in the country. Here we bring people together, we're not just here telling them do this, don't do this, don't do that, no. We sit together, we share lived experiences, then we analyze it with the feminist lens and then we also try to see how do we address it, like localizing the approach. Today we are not just making it a kind of Oxfam approach, no. We are integrating them into it so that when they go back, this we adopt this kind of approach. It's one thing that we've seen that issues concerning violence, we need to also look at the economic aspect of it. And most women suffer from this. It comes in different forms where men deprive their wives access to finance. We've had instances where men who feel that, oh, because they have joint accounts, they have overriding power over the management of the resources at home. The women share their experiences as well as call on the government to enact laws that will safeguard the rights of women in the country. We spent almost one month at the gate of National Assembly trying to get more seats for the women in the National Assembly, trying for the women to get indigenship. Wherever you're coming from and wherever you're married to, you can contest and win election there. You'll be accepted as an indigen there. The government needs to do a lot in abolishing some of these laws because some of these things are, if you trust it, is coming from our origin. Some will tell you this is our culture, this is our the way we behave here, this is this, this is that. So all this traditional and cultural mindset needs to be deleted from the mind of the people. So if you follow the trend, you notice okay, there's a rise, you know, in gender bow, gender based violence either against men, against women. So it's not a thing. It's not a thing. It's not an age thing. It's not. It's just something that there seems to be something fueling. So this is, I believe this is the right time for us to address this particular topic right now. According to statistics from the UN, though both genders suffer violence in one form or the other, but one out of three women witness it more with Nigeria recording 56% cases during the lockdown period alone. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.